Alright, hello everybody. It is I, Grant, all right, and here we are back with another episode of Pokemon. Promise to be in a better mood this time. <laughs> I've had a good weekend and I was able to de-stress, so... Whew. We're going to be going on with our game down to Route 127, taking on trainers there, and moving on with the story. So, yeah. Let's just have Camel, Ruffed, and then Kata go up for this first double battle. Hope everybody is doing well. Happy Monday. So we should be able to make a lot of good progress in this episode. We won't make it all the way to one. But we should be set up by the end of this episode to take him on tomorrow and get through Victory Road. Which means we should be pretty close to finishing this tomorrow. Um, and what I'm going to do uh, is at the end of this episode I'll... Well, I'm processing stuff. I'll get our rare candies in for the end of the uh, stream. So we don't have to do that grass training. And then we'll, um, yeah, we'll just keep moving forward. Remember, Krishinamon has used his channel point incentive to uh, have us use our final ghost type team for the next playthrough. Uh, which is going to have um, Bayonet and Dusclops on it. Uh, we also are going to have a Shedinja on it again. Uh, because he uh, selected that Pokemon to also be repeated on that team. And we'll have one more repeat. The reason we have two repeats on this team is because there's only six Ghost-type Pokemon. We used four of them, so there were two left. So we needed a, a repeat of two of them from the first team. And that's why we are where we are. And Nikita is paralyzed because of static. Because always static. Camel Rupt doesn't have any issues taking down Scarberry, so that's good. Alright, we take down the main Netrix, so that's also good. Other than that, yeah, we're just gonna be knocking through. Pokemon. Does a bit of damage to Camel Rupt. Probably do a bit more than Nikita. Oh, we still need to get Steelix, Marowak, and Donphan up. I don't know why I still have Camel Rupt and Nikita up if the other three are still at 43. But we'll change that after this fight. All right, let's swap up Steelix. Grab that rare candy. Then over we go to the Fishers. Remember 46 is our target for the next gem? I believe that's what it is. Kingdra, yep, 46. Good damage. We're still missing ground attacks on two of our ground Pokemon, but we'll be rectifying that soon on one of them. Alright, let's also, while I'm here, let's full heal Nimkata. Alright, other than that, we're just going to keep pushing through these water trainers. And hope that we don't get <laughs> knocked out. Chikapaba. And 
Yeah, it's not surprising that it outspeeds us. Does some good damage to Steelix. Yeah, he should have just went with another bubble beam. And there's our level up there for Steelix. Oop, not what I wanted. Swap uh, Don Fan. Got a couple Magikarps and a Gyarados here. Don Fan shouldn't have any issues with that because we're going to Defense Scroll Rollout. One down, two to go. All that experience from that first one. more trainers left on this route. Not too bad. All right, that's one down. level does Steelix learn Crunch? I don't think we've passed that, have we? Nah, we haven't. Okay. Um, I think I want to go heal really quick since we're this close to Moss Deep. Seems I guess I didn't need to use that full heal on Nikita, but we did, and it's done, so. Oh, I went too far. All right, we're going to let Ninkata take on this fighting Pokemon because it's one of the few things that Ninkata excels in. Seismic Toss is a good move. It's the correct move. Alright, let's just get another turn of poison. And we'll come up and it'll seismic toss us. Because whenever it hits us, it always picks the right move. See? Oh, 
But it goes down. And Nikita goes up. Excellent. We can get Nikita leveled up on these easier fights. Then we don't have to worry about getting it up later. Alright, now we'll swap up Marowak. And we'll heal Nikita. So that we can potentially use it when we're underground fighting Team Aqua. Or not underground, underwater fighting Team Aqua on some of those double battles. In fact, what I might do is we'll just go ahead and swap you up here. So that any double battle we get into at this point, it'll just put you in. Alright, there should be a... Here you are. Headbutt. We'll just go ahead and do another headbutt. After we take a bubble beam. Not quite enough to take it down. Uh, we'll just keep... Um... It's HP where it's at right now. We'll heal it a little later. You start with a Gloom, which is why we put Camel Roughed up. Let's see how Marowak does against this Azumarill. Well, that's not good. Didn't take that much damage, though. Ate our Citrus Berry. Alright, so this was a cool trainer, so they'll heal it. So we'll just throw another Bone Meringue. Let's get Camel Roughed up to start this next fight because it starts with a shift tree. Let's just swap to, really doesn't matter, Marowak again, I guess. Alright, do I have another berry to give him? I do.
you've got a star you and we missed it's not nice all these bone meringues that you're missing all right Uh, drop our speed. Come on, Marowak. Jeez. It's a good protect on our part. Let's just finish getting Marowak up. If we can. damage. All right, we have one more trainer with a star you. And then we're going underwater. Almost got it. We level up, we get Iron Tail. But just a few trainers to fight in here, not a lot.
Aw, you butt. I was gonna do a double battle, but I guess we're not doing a double battle. All right. We're gonna swap Don Fan up to do this next fight with Ninkeda. That's the plan, at least. Got a Sharpedo and a Mighty Inna. Won't be easy, but we can get past it. We Defense Curl, so then we can go into a Rollout next turn and start dealing some real damage out. Hopefully. Double scary face. Okay. Don Fan's really slow now. Alright, Crunch is gonna deal good damage to Ninkeda. Alright, we can for sure get another turn on Ikeda because we can protect. Good damage. Nice. Alright, well it gets the swagger on Dawn Fan, that's not ideal. Come on, Don Fan. Good. Ah, oh, bad. Let's heal you. Eat the bug. All right, well, they're Nikita Swagger, too. We're hoping Sharpedo goes down to the poison. Should get pretty close otherwise. Yeah, close. Stop eating my bug. Oh, well, I think Nikita's just gone now. Oh, it's not. Excellent. So that should, no, Sharpedo will go down. Donphan shook off the confusion. And we'll just keep healing the Kata so we can keep getting that experience. See, takedown we can do. Easy. Don Fan, I don't know what your issue is with hitting rollouts. It'd be nice if you could just do it, though. 
we've gotten up to very few tier 5 rollouts. Good deal. Swap up Camel Rupt. Up. Thank you. All right, so this earthquake gets taught to Steelix. Our other earthquake is with Donphan and it learns it at 49. Just respray a repel. I got plenty of them. Archie fight. This is why we can't have nice things. Look at that, we're down to half health already. Good job. Good damage. Figures. Oh, that's right, he has super potions. He doesn't have full resource. Come freaking on. This game is so unfair. I mean, if our enemies had to deal with confusion to the rate that we had to deal with it, whenever we use confusion, this game would be so much easier. He's already got rollout going, so we'll just keep Dodfan out. Nice.
All right. Let's get past all the talking here. All right. Still heal. Gonna wait for the rain to stop. Because I learned last playthrough that I could do that even during the talking here. It should change. And we're learning Eruption. Awesome. We'll learn that in place of Flamethrower. So Eruption does more damage the uh, higher our HP is. Just like Water Spout, but a fire version. Does it hit everybody? I wouldn't be surprised. Yes, it will hit everybody. So we're not going to use it right now because I will definitely take down Nkeda. Seem to get Steelix up, so we'll swap Steelix up. Swap this up now. Good level up. And there's our Iron Tail, which we'll learn in place of uh, Screech for now. We'll just keep Steelix out. I shouldn't have rock throw. Oh well. And before I forget, use a Pokemon Power Max on Eruption. Uh, three more fights, counting this one left on this route. Probably should have waited for it to be daytime, but should be okay.
we should be able to push all the way, like where we release Rayquaza, and then so we'll get to Sky Pillar, do all that, and then get back to Setopolis. We should be able to do all that in this episode. Excellent. Does Don Fan have like hustle as a hidden ability or something? Because it feels like we're just missing a lot. for it to get sunny again. And there's Nikita up to 46. Excellent. I should have just protect again. Oh well. Past this. Oh, my gosh, not important right now. Spray a repel. Let's move you.
right. We have four Pokemon. We still need to get up to 45. We have a few trainers to take on, so see how close we get. Let's try out our new Eruption. Pretty solid. Sharpedo. Uh, we'll keep Camel Wrapped out. Swap Dawn fan back up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give a Persimberry to Marowak. And after this, we'll drop another Repel. At this point, it's just take on the trainers get up the levels. Nice that we got an Enkata done. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Should level up Don Fan to forty six. Whoops. Sorry, I clicked the wrong button. There's the level up for Don Fan. All right, let's swap up Marowak. There should just be two fights on this route. Well, that's going to be annoying, isn't it? Dragon Rage me down. Bone Meringue here, and then we're going to Sunny Day. 
after we take a bubble beam. Let's see how much this do. This is a good test for late game. It's not a good, not a good benchmark there. I mean, that was a lot of damage, even with our special attack trained like it is. Not making me feel comfortable about this next gym fight or fight facing Wallace later. Seems right that we uh, hit ourselves. It's always kind of what it is. Swift we can take. We can take lots of Swifts. I think apart from, there's only one more double battle on this route, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, we want to learn Thrash in place of Headbutt. And then we're going to swap up Steelix. Should be three more single fights. This guy with the Wingull and the Tentacruel. Love disc, and then we'd have the double battle after this. 
two. So on the third turn, we finally got it. Attract is so annoying. Good deal. All right, so Steelix still needs a little bit of experience, but not a lot. And I think we could just get that on the way up once our repel runs out. Oh, I have to do something. All right, just so this goes a little faster getting out of here. Get our other Mew that knows fly. All right, there we go. Done with Steelix leveling up to 46. fly first. And then we'll also teach it dive. Uh, I'm going to hop over here really quick because we're going to do one thing really fast before I forget. you to forget dive all right there we go Get the talking done and then we get waterfall then we're gonna hop up here and we're gonna get brick break
And we'll teach Brick Break to Marowak in place of Aerial Ace. And then we need to get Nimkata back out. This is where I will end our episode for today. We do hope you all enjoyed the episodes, and we will be back tomorrow with more Pokemon, where it looks like we're going to be pretty close to finishing out this playthrough. We do hope you all enjoyed. We'll see you next time.